This is a multi-part series about Camilla Parker Bowles, but it's not just about Camilla Parker Bowles. It's also about Alan Kilkenny, Mark Boland, Sir Michael Pete, Patty Harverson, the British media. This is my research into how Camilla Parker Bowles was able to go from this to this. Just a quick introduction. My name is Meredith Constant. I have a background in communications and I am interested in the relationship that the media has with powerful people. In the series, you are going to see a ton of tabloids. And the reason that I use the tabloids for my research is that they are a part of the Royal Rota. I'm not necessarily looking into accuracy of fact as much as I'm looking into the spin and portrayal of certain people. I wanted to know when Camilla went from being the mistress and the other woman to companion, future queen. This is not going to be a series about what Camilla may or may not have done allegedly to Princess Diana. This is a series that is going to attempt to answer the question of how Camilla Parker Bowles was able to successfully rehab her image in the British media. And as with all research, nothing is set in stone. This is just the point I'm at in my research right now. More things may come to light as we go along. In fact, I anticipate that they will. In some ways, history is stagnant, but it's also not. We're always learning more. We're always adding to the story. We're getting different perspectives. We're learning different things through a different lens. So I just wanted to get that out there right now that this, this is my research and I've spent a ton of time on it, but it's not conclusive. But hopefully it'll start some good conversations. So buckle in, this is going to be a multi-part series, first starting with a little background on Camilla. Stay tuned.